everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Megan I do sewing embroidery and other crafty things and in today's easy tutorial I'm going to show you how to find um, embroidery fonts on Etsy and how to download them properly just for context I have a MacBook Pro um, and I also have Embroiliance Essentials for my embroidery software so just for reference if you guys have those this is the exact process that I use to purchase designs and download them. So I found this very cute font. Um, so it is a chain script font. I haven't stitched anything out like this before, so I thought I would get it. Um, I'm planning on using this font for a um, St. Patrick's Day design. So I thought I would purchase it and kind of show you guys kind of the process, how to download the files and how to pull them up into Embrilliance and everything like that. So to begin, um, as you can see, this is a large embroidery font, and one thing that is most important and makes it much easier to download the fonts is to make sure that you can download it as a BX file. So basically what that means is that um, you can download it, and instead of having to click on and pull every single letter from the download file onto the Embrilliance Essentials, It'll download all of these different font sizes with all the different letters all in one go. So it makes it a lot easier. So then you can just type away for whatever letters you want and it'll pop up. So I am going to purchase this design. And like I said, since it's a BX file, that's what I want. And it makes life a lot easier. So I'm going to go through the purchasing process. And once I'm all done with that, I'll show you how to download the font and uh, pull it up into your embroidery software. So I'll catch up with you guys in one second. All right, so I purchased the design. So now I'm going to go to View Downloads. Looks like it is preparing the, uh, the files for downloading, even though it said it was ready. All right, so it looks like there are three different files that you can choose from. Um, so you can view all the files. However, as you can see at the top, it has the BX. So that's good what I'm going to want to download. So I'm going to hit Download pull it up and I'm gonna pull up the BX now this is important instead of having to click on each each individual one in order to download them I'm gonna click the first one and then I'm gonna hit shift on my keyboard so it'll highlight all of them and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click this so as you can see in Embrilliance Essentials, it downloaded the the font that is, uh, I think, the two, the two millimeter font, two and a half, three, four, five, and six. So now those are all downloaded. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Embrilliance. And now in order for this to go into effect, what you're going to do is exit out of Embrilliance Essentials. So now you're going to pull up Embrilliance Essentials again, and now your changes should be going into effect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, um, the, the letters here, and then I'm going to go scroll down until I can find what I'm looking for. I have a lot of fonts, so it might be a bit of a digging situation here, but that is completely okay. I must have missed it. Let's see, it's not Stitchtopia. It's not these fonts. Sorry, I'm just trying to find where that font went because it should pop up. Oh, here it is right at the top so then now I can pull up this design and this is what it'll look like so I'm just gonna type in the words that I was hoping for and now this is the the two inch it looks like and it can go all the way up to six inches so that's super cool I really like this font um, so I'll include a link in the description down below for where you can purchase this font 
Uh, but yeah, so that's essentially how you um, purchase embroidery designs and download them from Etsy. All right, so that's going to be it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. Because like I said, I do a lot of embroidery and sewing and of course some other crafty things. So if you want to learn how to do a new project, definitely feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel. I hope to catch you guys in the next video and have a great night.